अवतार मैं अवतार अवतार मेहरबानी प्रताप जी जय बाबा जय बाबा लव यू नाइस टू सी यू लव यू the pre the, the present time the present days with very rarely one can laugh so much <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. world situation is such that <laughs> it's very very expensive to laugh so loudly we we laugh we, a lot here we oh, do oh we are all baba lovers we are about we are not bothered about what is happening in the world uh, anyway um today i was just uh, i had thought of talking uh, about a subject of dhuni uh, practically everybody knows that we what 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 does it what does it mean by dhuni and uh, that every month it is lit at uh, merabad that we all know but i have some other points also to discuss about that which i am going to do it now uh as you know that after baba dogged his body uh a couple of years after uh, they have started early in the morning at 6 o'clock uh during amarkiti time talking about the amarkiti time uh all the people used to after they taking bath and everything they will gather in that uh, open space where there is a dhuni and then then for few years thereafter a group of people a few were few of them were from amader itself and many were from foreign countries young boys they the name of that person who is who was a athlete from a nearby village is an uh, karmali a young boy a quite a well built person he used to lead this uh, they used to lead the dhuni at merazad and that boy used to hold it in his hand and run in the leading and all the group of people used to run after him so right from merazad they will come first to bombay first to nagar center and then after little time i mean the boy down at uh, nagar center the group again will start resuming their run from from nagar to from uh, the trust of your the uh, this uh, this uh, house that is kuchru quarters from there to dhuni so until that that this was very nice nice program in fact but as the days went on then then people uh, were i mean just losing their much of strength to run so much of distance because from merazad up to nagar it is about 15 kilometers and thereafter it is also 7 8 km- kilometers so about 22 kilometers at a stretch to run up the stage was very tedious job but then young people with so much of enthusiasm and energy they risk they used to run holding that dhuni in their hand they used to run and right from there uh, there are uh, either mostly pindu used to lead that dhuni give their give their in the hands of that boy and then they will start running from there it was a very nice beautiful and then when he comes to merabad <coughs> 
we will find all the people, a good lot of people, those who have come from Amartiti, they would have gathered at that open space just around that Dhuni. And then that Dhuni will brought, it will be given to a leading person, maybe anybody, uh, especially one Mr. L.B. Thade, who used to give a, a small talk on this Dhuni. And the Dhuni will be lit by some uh, either Jal or, or somebody. And then, then there will be a reading of a, a short history of Dhuni. And then there will be also a reading of the poem which was composed on Dhuni. This was the program actually which was going on for quite a number of years. But then after uh, Chairman Bahu, he passed away. And thereafter, the trust, trustee decided to stop this uh, whole process of running from Merazda to up to Merabad. They not only stopped that, but they stopped leading Dhuni itself. I had never raised any question on that because it was a decision of the trustees. But uh, in my heart of hearts, I felt that uh, at least the leading of them may not be running, but the leading of Dhuni could have been there, should have been there. Because after the Dhuni, they all used to proceed to the up the hill. Mm -hmm. It was a very nice program. But then it was a decision of the trustees to stop this Dhuni program. And now we don't have that Dhuni program in the early morning on 31st January. We don't have that now. How this Dhuni, Dhuni was started from right from 1925, in the year 1925, first. It's, it's a very famous story now, everybody knows about it. But I am going to repeat it for some purpose. Now, this first, first uh, in the month of November, when Baba was sitting just, uh, you see, uh, right again, um, parallel to the road, just on the side of the road, Baba, Baba had a, a table cabin where he had written that book, the, the book. It is called The Book. The, that is a secret book. It has not uh, come out until its time, but it was referred to as The Book. And then uh, that, in that cabin, Baba had written that. So just close to that, that that was uh, that was just uh, near near the road. Afterwards, it was shifted inside, just opposite to the Jhopri. But earlier, but for quite a number of times, it was there, it's just close to the to the road going towards uh, toward down. Now, for three consecutive years, there was very bad drought. The Nagar district itself is facing a shortage of water every time. But then those three years, those years, for three consecutive years, there was very, very nominal rains. And the situation had become, developed so grave that people were praying, God, please, God, please help us because the situation is going worse and worse. And a number of villagers around uh, Mehrabad and Nagar, they, a group of people, when somebody told them that there is a saintly person by name Meher Baba, and you approach him and request him, he will do something for them. And so the villagers come to Mehrabad. Baba was sitting 
just near that uh, cabin, box cabin. And uh, these villagers weeping before Baba, they said that, Baba, we are facing very hard days because of the drought. And uh, the crop is lost. The animals are getting not getting fodder. The lakes and all the water reserves are getting dry. And everywhere what, what happens is just a dry. The, the crops are actually failed now. And uh, they prayed Baba that uh, Baba, please save us from this situation. And Baba very patiently hear the, 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 the ocean of love. He very patiently listens to what the villages, the, the, the villages also says that the many people, villages are migrating to some other places where they can get at least something to survive. And they are migrating from there. And uh, Baba felt very concerned about it and then said, Baba told him that now I have heard you and then you can go back. I will do something. And then after they went away, at about 10 or, 10 or 11 o'clock night, Baba asked the Mandali to collect some the firewood and to, to make a dish there, collect a firewood, put it in the dish and then uh, that, that was lit, that was lit. And believe that uh, there, was, there was no sign of any clouds in the sky. To have a shower of rain at that time looked very impossible, very impossible. But then when Baba had promised them, that means the, when the fire, when the flames were going in the sky, all of a sudden the clouds gathered, it became all dark and then it started pouring, 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 pouring so much. It, it rained for 15 hours. For 15 hours it was raining and the villagers were saved of their, uh, this uh, very serious situation. They came with a band and they thanked Baba and Baba also felt very happy. So that was the start of the Dhuni. Thereafter, out, uh, on the first, first anniversary of that Dhuni, again, it was lit by Baba, Baba in Baba's presence, and that time also it rained. Third time also on the third anniversary also the dhuni was lit and it rained. Third time it rained for three days, for, for three 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 days. So. One would feel naturally, naturally because of all this happening that because of the dhuni, leading of dhuni, this rain was, uh, the, the city was getting a rain. But then what happened is that on the third time when Baba was in seclusion sitting up the hill in that uh, samadhi, samadhi ditch which they have created for Baba samadhi, Baba was sitting in seclusion uh, without without any food without any water he was used to take only once a milk i think and then baba was sitting there baba, in a very strict seclusion and that during dhuni time baba was baba came down but how he came down he he came down surrounded by people holding clothes as curtains, hiding Baba from the sight of the people. 
Baba came there. Baba lead the dhuni. But Baba made a very, very significant remark that today's dhuni is not for a rain. This dhuni is not for rains. It is laid because for the purpose of my universal work. And it seemed that that work was concerned to the, the grave situation of war. Thereafter, Baba went, Baba was busy in his own work. It may be must work, it may be travel to other places throughout India, and then visit to the, uh, to the foreign countries. Baba was, Baba became very uh, busy with that. But in the 1941 or so, Baba in 41, Baba met Upasni Maharaj for the last time. That was in a village called the Hegao. It is very close to Sakori, about uh, two kilometers from Sakori. Beautiful place. And uh, there Baba had met last time with Upasni Maharaj. And there is one indication, even a remark by Baba that Maharaj will drop his body now. And it, it happened like that. So in that year, again, the dhuni was lit at the hands of Papa Ji Sawala. Baba, Baba was present there. They all sung Baba's Gujarati Aarti. It was earlier, so earlier Dhuni also that Aarti was sung. This time also Aarti was sung. And Baba remembered about Upasni Maharaj. And then he said that today the purpose of Dhuni is just for remembering Upasni Maharaj. And then after Upasni Maharaj very soon he dropped his body. Now the question comes as to what, what, what can be the purpose of it? How, how, how it, it may be working? In fact, thereafter, after the first Dhuni, Baba had asked all the Mandri to compose a song in memory of that Dhuni. And so many people composed songs. The first, first prize was one by Rustum, then second by somebody else. About three, four people, they, they, their uh, poetry uh, deserved to be, to be given a prize. And then Baba himself composed a poetry. Now today, unfortunately, we, I don't have a light. Otherwise, uh, I, I was, uh, I had thought of reading that Dhuni song, not singing, but Dhuni reading that song. It's a very beautiful song. And then one gets little idea about, about the pur purpose of this Dhuni. Now, as we know, the Dhuni is not only at Mehrabad, but at other, other places also, other places of saintly persons, there also the dhuni is being lit every day. It is, in fact, it is 24 hours. In Shirdi, still, still, there is a dhuni for 24 hours, right from Sai Baba's time. Then, one beautiful story I would say, I will tell you today, that uh, in in the central India, there was one person by name 
यही डील टू टू बी कॉल्ड एज बड़े धुनी वाली बड़े धुनी वाली बड़े धुनी वाली बाबा एट हिज प्लेस ऑल्सो दी धुनी इज टू बी फॉर ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स देर वे टू बाबा लाइक दैट वो अनुवास बड़े धुनिया वाले अनुदर वॉज छोटे धुनी वाले दैट मीन्स दी जूनियर वन एंड सीनियर वन Now the senior one, <laughs> it's a beautiful story. I would say, as the senior one, a a family by name Dubey. It was that family was very much attached to that Bade Duni Wale Baba. Very much attached to Bade Duni Wale Baba. In fact, every every aspect of her personal life, they used to consult with him, and he used to guide them. He used to help them. and they were so very attached to him dependent upon him and he also liked to help them and he was helping them that woman mrs dubey she had no children and every time she goes to whenever she goes to uh whenever she goes to bade dhuni valley She, there will be this topic of having a child, and thereafter, he gave him such a blessing that she will get a child, and she got a son. She got a son, and but then. that son was so very what should i so very delicate and looking like a sick person sick sick child half dead practically one may say half dead child and very with so much of grief she goes with that child to bade dhuni wale baba and she says very i mean just uh, with so much of displeasure she says that if he wanted to give at least give you could have given me a better child what have what have to this is a burden on me what have to do with that this child such child one cannot say whether he will die uh, at what moment he will die he is such, such a such a weak child and such a Uh, a delicate child, and Dhunduni was wondering why I brought him here. Now throw it in the Dhunduni, and that woman, woman, she actually threw that child in the Dhunduni, and the Dhunduni wale Baba he shouted, oh, "What are you doing? Lift him, lift, take him out of that Dhunduni. You are mad." and then she takes she again takes that child from the from the dhuni she takes that child and the child was named as girija shankar dubey girija shankar dubey is a special personality in the group of baba lovers he was from np he was in jabalpur very close to one uh, one um, radhikant upadhyay about this this person this uh, girijanand dubey he i i have seen him i have come in his very close contact he was so very sweet person very soft and sweet talking in spite of the fact that he was such a great philosopher great voracious reader having big knowledge and had a great respect in the society in spite of that while talking with a person like me i was a young boy then 
he would talk so sweetly i i can just never forget him he was very intelligent but he he was a master of sanskrit he also gave talks in sanskrit and his way of talking was such a sweet one would like to listen to his talks he had come to he he had become very he had um, much love for mir baba he had not very often said, uh, seen mir baba but he met baba and not after meeting baba he had he had given lot of lectures on mir baba and he was a, had become a very staunch lover of mir baba he was also a social leader a leader i was, sorry a, a leader dealing with the problems of the worker working working class people and very 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 nice person very nice person i have we we bhajan mandali puna bhajan mandali had made they met him several times but thereafter i had a very close contact with with him in mumbai now this is little diversion from that dhoni program dhoni program but then since it is in the course of that uh, talking about this person i am giving you this uh, one incident when the bombay bombay center in bombay center they had made me a trustee of that uh, governing body i was reluctant to take that uh, trusteeship because i told him that uh, even otherwise i will do whatever the people expect me to do but then president who was whose name was uh, dara katrak he insisted that no pratap i we want you to be a trustee and they, you have you cannot say anything you can you cannot refuse yeah and then he just gave me a letter that the trustees have decided to appoint pratap bhai to be a trustee of bombay center and that uh, and did did give me any chance to uh, to draw back to, uh, to, to take my name back then anyway i was working as a trustee and kishore mistri was a secretary once it to happen that uh, during during the baba's birthday birthday functions now we had i was in pune i was attached to pune center and they left i shifted to mumbai for the for the sake of service i participated in every program in mumbai also in pune also in mumbai also but then during during the birthday functions i used to come to pune along with my whole family so i never used to attend the bombay centers program once the the president dara katra he said to me that pratap i i i was a i was a active member in the bhajan mandali and they much relied upon Uh, relying upon me as regard the conducting of bhajan programs are there even outside programs you used to do and i used to take every very active part in all these programs so that dara katak told me that you during during the whole year you are here with us but during birthday functions you go to pune and he told me that for this function birthday functions we are taking such a big hall the name of the hall is sundarabai hall a very prestigious hall in the heart of bombing in the fort area and it is a very big hall with all the amenities but when the program is going on hardly a little corner of that whole hall 
is occupied by people and rest of the hall is empty. And Dara, Dara Kathak told me that I feel very bad about it, but what to do? I just heard what he said. I, I felt it very much. I really felt for many times. I, I, have, I have traveled so many centers, so many centers. And every time when I in the present times, when I find that certain certain centers are become little bit lethargic and they're very regular, I feel it very much because I have seen this center in the in a, a very in a flourishing conditions, and now when they are there is a gloomy atmosphere in the centers, I myself feel very much. And especially when it comes to Bombay Center, where I was actively involved, when I find that that center is facing this sort of a situation, I, in my heart of hearts, I feel very bad about it. So when Dara Katra told me about this, I felt it very much. But then in my mind, I decided something. There was a meeting for as to whom we should call for giving a talk. And both myself and Kishore Metsi, who was the secretary, we, he also knew about this person, uh, Girijan Singh, Girijanan Dubey. And we insisted that uh, Girijanan Dubey should be called for a giving a talk on 25th of February. And uh, then uh, there was a lot of discussion. The president used to be very much relying of, on both of us, both me and myself and Kishore Mithi, because we are active members of the singing group. And uh, for a program like that, he was, uh, our, our opinion used to be carrying a good weight. Then when we propose that this man is very good speaker and uh, we will invite him. And then there was a lot of discussion and then they finally decided that, all right, we accept your uh, proposal and we de decide to invite him. And then there was a big problem of <laughs> giving, how much time should be given for giving a talk. <laughs> you will not believe, but then the the, the suggestion was starting from 10 minutes, 15 minutes. They were not ready to go beyond 15 minutes. And when we said that 15 minutes will be required for his just warming up, and you are talking about 15 minutes, better not to invite him. Because that will not be befitting to his the with the caliber of giving a talk. No, no, what why, why we should give um, so much uh, spend so much of time in the to speak as speech, speech and all that. You will not believe, but we have struggled hard <laughs> both of us, Kishore Mr. myself, to take that time up to 45 minutes. <laughs> From 10 minutes, we stretched it step by step up to 45 minutes and it was decided that the uh, we should invite Gurejana and Jubi and give him 45 minutes and so he, he, he was invited now a problem for me was that I I had to go to Pune because it was a birthday function before that I gave a talk in Pune in, in Bombay Center I said, all of the, all we people, we are Baba lovers. We are celebrating the birthday function of our beloved Mir Baba, whom we loved most in our life. He is the highest person in, in our personal life. And we celebrate birthday function, birthday of Mir Baba. If any one of you have thought of inviting your family members, or your friends, 
or your colleagues? No. You find yourself to be all alone, going and attending the program as a formality. Not only that, I was a little bit very outspoken in that, in this respect. Not only that, even you don't take your entire your family for Baba program. Is it is it a fair on your part? Then you take our own time to be there. If the program is at six o'clock, you feel that what is there to go so early? Let us go. Let us go leisurely at 6.30 or 7 o'clock. This is the attitude we are holding in our minds. And how we expect that people should assemble there for the Baba program. I told them that my own personal friend from my office, once he went there for a birthday function earlier, what he, found, he told me that what he found was there was practically nobody there and the electricians were just uh, making arrangements for the uh, mic system and all that. And that person, my friend, told me that looking to this situation, the, the, the time was there. Time, there was no time. Time had already uh, reached to start the program. But then, looking at the situation, I came home back and then I never went back there. So this example I gave, this is the, this is the situation that we are facing. And believe me, by Baba's grace, everybody felt the necessity of whatever suggestions we had made or whatever the criticism I had done there. And then, that person was invited, Girijanandan Dubey. I met him at the station. I very politely told him that we have invited you. I'll make you, um, very, we have made, uh, for your stay, we have made a, a reserved a hotel and we, I am taking you there. But then I won't be here for this birthday function because every year I go to Pune. And very, very lovely, he said that, don't worry about it, nothing to worry about it. That is also Baba work, you are not going to, for your own purpose, for your own enjoyment. You are also going for a Baba program. Doesn't matter. And I was very much relieved by his say. And then I came to Pune, the program was over. And when after the whole programs, both at Muna and Mumbai, when I went back to Mumbai, the president came on the station. He knew that I, I come in the, by this particular train. And he was waiting at the door for me. As soon as he saw me, he came and embraced me so tightly. And he had no words to say. He was simply just I mean, kissing me and holding me, embracing me. And told me, Pratap, the program was excellent. The program was so very excellent. And believe me, the whole hall was full of people. Not a single person moved from that place. Not a single person, even for uh, washroom. Nobody, nobody left that place. Before that, we had made arrangement for making very big publicity for this program with the help of some people working in the corporation, municipal corporation, local government. And then with their permission, we had displayed so many banners and so many boards and such things and given in the newspapers. And so Bombay, Bombay has got so many people, Hindi speaking people. So the whole hall was full with Baba people. All the Baba people had come with their families and all other people had come also 
and the whole fall, it's as if big hall was full. And nobody even moved from that place. And then Gauri Shikha, Girijanan Dubey gave such a talk. He was <laughs> the president and had uh, in his introductory talk, he had said that uh, this Girijanan Dubeyji will talk for 45 minutes, not less, not more. And uh, I am requesting to come on the stage. And what this is what uh, Dana Katharik is telling me. Is what he gave exactly 15, uh, a 45 minutes talk. And just at the end of 45th minute, he came down and took his seat. I went running to him. That is what President said. I went running to him. He had given to talk in Hindi. And I requested him. See, it will be really a very, will be obliged if you take 15, 15 minutes more and give a talk in English. And Dara tells me that he again, on our request, he again went to the stage. He gave a talk in English also the similar way. And exactly after 15 minutes, he came down. And there was a big clap in the whole hall. And Dara was really dancing with happiness. Why I am telling you particularly this incident? Because this is the same child which was thrown in that dhuni. As a young child, a newborn child, which was thrown in the dhuni. And that dhuni wala baba scolded his mother, that child's mother, to take him, take him from her. You are mad to throw him in the dhuni. The same. And this person carried much of respect throughout the Baba circles, throughout Baba circles. So this uh, very old story does. Now the question comes as to, one cannot exactly make out as to what work they must be doing. Leave aside Mir Baba because Baba has specifically made a remark that earlier, for, for a couple of years, it was for rains. In fact, the first year it was for rain. Second and third also, we get rain. But then, in the year 1941 or so, after so many years, when it, it was not late in the in-between year. Because Baba had become busy in some other work. But after that, when again in 1941 or so, when the on Baba's instructions, when the dhuni was lit at the hands of Papa Jesawala, Baba made a specific remark that today it is not for the purpose of rains, but I have my own purpose, universal work for my own universal work, that was Baba said. And a similar explaining these thoughts has come in that whole song of their Duni. I'll take that some other time because it's a long, long um, song and uh, to explain with the meaning and all that will take a lot of time and it will be all hurry, hurry up for, for me. So we'll take some other time. But then this is what Dhuni. And now, why Sai Baba's place Dhuni was kept all burning throughout the day, all 24 hours, right from Sai Baba's time up to this time. Nobody, nobody can guess about it. At least I am not capable of guessing, even guessing about it. 
fact that Dhoni was kept uh, burning by that Dhoni Wala Baba, Bade Dhoni Wala Baba, one cannot say anything. Even the Chote Dhoni Wala Baba, at his place also, that Dhoni was burning whole night and day. Why for? We, we cannot say anything about it. So, but then, certain points have been explained. The Dhuni, Dhuni song is composed by Baba himself, and certain points have been very important. Baba has given much importance to that Dhuni that we'll, uh, we'll understand next time. Now, today, The at that in forty one also Baba that time that early it was tenth of month for two three years it was tenth of month but for that uh, was, since that time forty one Baba asked the to be late to be lit on twelfth of every month on 12th of every month. Now, so many, so many wise people, there is a point that this is a, this has become a tradition. It's a point to think over. But one, Thing one cannot one cannot forget is that this dhuni on twelfth twelfth of every month is according to Baba's instruction. Whatever is done by his instructions, it only carries meaning. If you do it on your own. It may give you benefit, but not that much as when it is done on his instructions. Baba has several times said, when I ask you to observe silence, it makes a difference. If you make it a, make it a practice of observing silence, it has no meaning. You may get benefit out of your own belief, and but when I ask it, then it is in obedience of my instructions, and that gives you uttermost benefit. Once when I was earlier times when I used to observe fast on on Thursdays, every from my childhood I used to observe uh, complete fast on Thursdays, and once it was. I, when we were, Baba was in Guru Prasad, I was, we all were sitting with Baba and during lunch time, everybody went to, for lunch according to Baba's, uh, Baba allowed him to go away. And I kept on sitting there and Baba asked me, why are you not the one for lunch? <coughs> you are not going to for, going for lunch. And I, I told Baba that Baba, I am observing fast today. And Baba simply laughed at me. You see, <laughs> to observe fast or to observe silence or something of that sort, people do. This is a very, very common practice in India. I do not know whether this practice is there, among, whether this belief is there in Westerners. But in India, if we observe this sort of a thing, then your desire is fulfilled. That is the that is the understanding. And if people people make it make it, uh, they, they 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 make it a practice sort of it, and they they, they tell the God or whoever is their their master or their God. That uh, for this purpose, Baba, 
or Krishna, Lord Krishna, or Rama, or Rama, I don't have a child. So from today, I'll be observing fast for such a such day so that I should get a child. I should get a good job. Or I should get married. This is this is this this is the resolve they make um, for the, for the, uh, achieving something, getting something, and that is very common practice. So when I told Baba that I am observing fast on Thursday, Baba laughed at me. <laughs> why you are, why are observing fast? I said no, Baba, just just to have my stomach empty on that particular day, on one day in a, in, in a week. And Baba very seriously looking at me, seriously said, if it is for health purposes, it is all right. Otherwise, it has no meaning. And at several, several times, Baba has explained to other people also, when any, any order is given by your master, then only, that only carries importance. On your own, if you do certain things, it has its own, it, it has its own benefit, but not to the extent as master gives you. This one should bear in mind. Now, several centers are having this lit practice of leading Dhuni. Some have, some of the Indian centers have matched with this day on 12th of every month. Especially the Hyderabad, I find that at the village center, they are leading the Dhuni on 12th of every month. In Pune also, K.K. Um, Ram Krishna, the, the first secretary of Pune Center, he had brought this idea of leading a dhuni, but he selected the day on the first, first day of every month. I was very much against it. I I I argued with K.K. Ram Krishna that this is a this is a wrong tra tradition that we are making, wrong practice we are making. But then once something fits into Ramakrishna's mind, he will not leave it. said, what harm is there? Harm is there. Let us have a son. And then it is still going on. People may be there, may be, but the caretaker is such a smart boy, he makes every arrangement and then some people come attend the dhuni. In Western countries also, when I was traveling on the second day with my son, I have I remember that at two three places I had attended this Duni program. So that is all about Duni painting the painting the poetry and the meaning of that uh, the subject of Duni. I you must have much read about this, but then certain things, certain things were to be emphasized and then uh, with this sort of a discussion, we revive our memories and we again start rethinking. We start rethinking. Now about these, these uh, traditions, traditional things. But Baba said that till the time you are doing it with your heart, it is all right. If you are doing it as a practice. Nowadays, so many, we have so many prayers. People, people publicize the, the prayer to be start with a day should be start with a prayer baba uh, whatever i do is uh, in your hands guide me and all that that and in the end we also pray a prayer reading and much publicity is given to this prayer it becomes a tradition this becomes a tradition 
I do not know whether the person who give this in a group, they themselves appreciate the intensity of their feeling in reciting the prayer. Because these prayers, once you ask for forgiveness, that particular, particular, what I what should I say? The particular uh, fault or a particular habit should be cleared up from your life, which does not happen. We keep on repeating the mistakes and we keep on praying for forgiveness, and that becomes a traditional practice. Anyway, for today's is enough now. If anybody wants to express themselves on the subject or any other subject, you can have an interaction with you people. And then let us close if nobody has any questions. Prakash may take over now. No, no, I mean, one question. Uh, yes, please. Dubeji is from where? Pune or Bombay? Uh, the man, the boy, as a boy, he was uh, thrown into the dhuni. I I don't get it. Uh, I I I I was in Pune. Right. You are talking about me. No, no. We are. I am talking Dubai, about Dubai. Was, Dubai was Dubai was Dubai was in Jabalpur. Ha right. I I think I saw him in Hamirpur. Uh, two no, he years must have been. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. I saw him. One more, right. one more important thing which I had, I had I slipped over that. Uh, this Rajinikanth Upadhyay and Dubey, they, because of their opposition to whatever uh, Osho used to fail the people, he had a large group of uh, people, followers there and these people were much, very much against that especially the point of having uh, sexual uh, the spirituality to the sexual actions that that they they were very 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 much opposing and Rajnikanth Upadhyay had told me that because of the strong opposition from we people that means Dubeji and uh, Rajnikanth Upadhyay and some pe other people, he also had to leave Jawalpur and then he came to Pune. Oh, okay. So you say that you, you must have seen, you must have definitely seen him because yes, yes. Uh, many times the people used to invite him for giving talks and he is beautiful. Oh yeah, he, he speaks well, yeah, yeah. that's for sure. Yeah, yeah. 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 And Betty has a question. Mm. Uh Prakash, uh, I think you were talking about Baba wrote the poem on the Duni, uh, and I have it. I could read it if you would like me to read that poem. Would you like me to read it? So, uh, the poem is a very long poem. <laughs> it's long. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> It is a long poem, right. and then with the explanation, we'll. Uh, I, I don't mind taking it next time. Oh, but uh, yes, please, yes, please, and uh, uh, don't hesitate to remind me that I should take it first. Okay. The very first topic I will take about that. Okay. It's a beautiful poem. The beautiful poem. The beauty of the poem is that <laughs> about two. Uh, it is a composition of Merbo in two, three languages. Oh, okay. Languages from different, different words from different languages. In, in, in one way, it is a funny, but then it's very meaningful, very meaningful. So I'll, we will uh, really, I will be happy to discuss about it. Okay, good. Yeah. Next time. Okay, next yes, time. Please. Yes, yeah. please. Yes, please. Thank you so much. Thank you for allowing me to take next time. <laughs> yeah. So, anybody else with any questions? 
Okay. So, mm-hmm. will uh, Pradab ji, uh, you want to conclude with an aarti or something, or it just uh, you want to put a stop today? It's up to you. Your 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 choice. Which aarti you want? Any. A- any aarti. I mean, anything. Oh, thank you. All right. Let us take aarti. सृष्टि का निर्माण आदिसचेतन शांति निपेतन आदिसचेतन शांति निपेतन नमो ब्रह्म आवो मेहर प्रभु आरती अपनावो मेहर प्रभु आरती अपनाओ मेहर प्रभु आरती अपनाओ प्रेम दीप में ही जनाओ प्रेम दीप में ही जनाओ निबिड़ मेरा मिटता पाऊ निबिड़ मेरा मिटता पाऊ अपना सब कुछ तुम्हें चढ़ाओ अपना सब कुछ तुम्हें चढ़ाओ तुम को सरता मेहर प्रभु आरती अपना मेहर प्रभु आरती अपना जीवन की हर सास मारी जीवन की हर सासे मारी बन जाए प्रभु कहते तुम्हारी बन जाए प्रभु कहते तुम्हारी हे करुणा कर लीलाधारे एक कर तुम करसार प्रभु आरती अपना मेहर प्रभु कृती अपना बने आरती जी में रे बने आरती जी में रे आदि अंत का लय हो गेरा आदि अंत का लय हो गेरा सब 
खुले नयन और पीछे सवेरा तुम प्रभु तारती अपना मेर प्रभु अपना आदि सचेतन शांति के आदि सचेतन शांति निकेतन नम ब्रह्म आ मेर प्रभु तारती अपना मेर प्रभु तारती अपना मेर प्रभु आरती अपना जय बाबा जय बाबा थैंक यू सर थैंक यू सो मच ब्यूटीफुल स्टोरीज एंड थैंक यू सो मच फॉर टेलिंग अस अबाउट धुनी एंड एनी एनी थॉट्स एनीबॉडी अदरवाइज विल से अवतार मैं बाबा की जय थ्री टाइम्स एंड सो अवतार